Good afternoon, dear colleagues. First of all, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the organizers at Piotr Krolutko for having been invited. It's a great privilege for me and a great pleasure. My presentation will analyze literal data on the results of instantaneous reconstruction with implants, also for patients with radiation therapy. This is the traditional slide about the statistical information about reconstruction of uh, milk gland in USA. Here are the major trends, which are about the increased total number of reconstructions beginning from the 19th year. And actually, now uh, there is very popular to use the silicone implants. It's done in a very stable way. There is the train when it's very popular now. So the use of implants in all the reconstruction surgeries in U.S. beginning from 2018 amounts up to 81 percent anatologous tissue in uh, my uh, – sorry uh, – and so now there is uh, 40, 84 percent. So the most popular methods of reconstruction in U.S. is a two-stage reconstruction with expander with the subsequent replacement by um, the implant. In our practice, there are lots of subcutaneous and prophylaxis, Mr. Tommy, and there is a big number of uh, instantaneous reconstructions recently. But two-stage reconstruction and percentage amounts up to 85 percent. The major method which is used in clinical practice is a creation of a single muscle fossil uh, pocket uh, with different uh, phases uh, and pectoral muscles, and we create an adequate pocket which uh, will provide for full cover of expander and small sized implant. Full cover enabled us to reduce the amount of early stage post-op uh, complications which were observed earlier. Here are the uh, two stage reconstruction. We use expanders, then we replace them by expands after expansion. We have to correct contralateral mill gland to improve the aesthetic appearance. This slide shows the result of bilateral subcutaneous mastectomy with subpectoral position of the uh, breast glands. So this is BRCA1 uh, mutations carrier young patient. And we can create combined pocket from large pectoral muscle and uh, deeply the size the skin patch in patients with large uh, breast. Uh, the pocket is big uh, and we can install implant or uh, expander in it. The outcome after using such a pocket after uh, subcutaneous and skin reducing mastectomy on the left hand side, first it's expander, then it's uh, induction mammoplasty. Less popular methodology is the elevation of major pectoral muscle and mesh implant or ADM. It's necessary to admit that my experience in such reconstruction is rather a modest and uh, I had three unilateral ones uh, and one ADM. Uh, it's very costly. ADM is very expensive. And mesh implants, uh, elongated post op period, and mesh implants require more stringent uh, recruiting of patients for such type of reconstruction. But in some patients, we obtain good results, which is indicative of the promising uh, results in future as well. Mindful of the complications, especially mindful of our discussions, most complications with early post-op ones amounted up to 18 percent. The structure of later complications is shown here. Uh, there could be absolute contracturum, uh, tardive serum, or rotation of anatomic implants and rotation of implants most frequently. There were 37 patients which amounts up to 22.1 percent. They were 
treated by uh, radiation therapy. Absolute contracture and seromas were observed in 29 and 7 percent of reconstructions in the group of radiation therapy, and only in 3.8 percent in group without irradiation. In this slide, you can see the results of revising surgery. It's the replacement of implants with. Partial capsulectomy and lipofilin two stage reconstruction. Revision was about removal of uh, the implants and installation of new implants and lipof lipofilling. Speaking about the impact of radiation therapy upon the frequency of the uh, complications after reconstruction, there is the scatter in the incidence of different complications because surgical technique and methodology of assessments are different. British meta-analysis was published in 2017. It was based on Cartier and other works, and it impacts uh, the uh, prevalence of contractures and the lost loss of implants due to complications. Uh, in Memorial Olympiatic Center, uh, they show low uh, the loss of implants with contractures, which could be accounted for by the algorithm, by the NAV. They always replace the expanders prior to the radiation therapy. Radiation therapy is very important to treat the complications in patients with reconstruction. It is the backdrop of popularization of subpectoral reconstruction using EGM in the USA and lipofilling some works show the predominance of propectoral uh, propectoral uh, position of a subpectoral in comparative study in a group of patients with very large male glands for skin reducing variants of mastectopy in a sub and propectoral position combined implants and ADM the frequency of uh, contractures and sub uh, pectoral was much uh, more frequent. As to the discussion, once again, I would like to emphasize the reasons. Why do we opt for this or that positioning of the implant at instantaneous reconstruction? Any method has got its pros and contours. Uh, the advantage of subpectoral position is adequate cover of implant, especially in upper and medial departments, reduction of uh, imaging and visualization and palpability of implants, reduction of the frequency of capsular contracture long term and reduction of rippling uh, frequency. But there are some disadvantages of subpectoral um, position of implant. The disadvantages of subpectoral position are pain, discomfort, especially at the stage of expander expansion, animation and deformation, and the atrophy of muscle cover with the course of time. Uh, I should admit that I'm rather skeptical about the subcutaneous position of polyurethane uh, um, in implants. Good results, but the experience accumulated through the beginning of 2000 and the follow-up of patients throughout the long time period makes me doubtful about the efficacy, long-term efficacy of this approach. As to the subpectoral approach, uh, we now use advanced state-of-the-art methodologies of radiation of the pectoral wall and regional zones. But IMRT with spiral tomotherapy uh, can have advantages vis a vis the prepectoral because it will not involve the inner organs if it's a subpectoral positioning of the implant. As to the conclusions, once again, I'm here to say that the reconstruction by implants is yet most popular method of reconstruction of milk 
real blood in pro prophylaxis and treatment of cancer. The results of subpeptoral position of expander and implant are well studied and provide for the good ability to screen patients to achieve the optimal results. Uh, radial therapy, uh, radiation therapy drastically worsens the results of reconstruction at any position of implant. In absence of good ADM and stable results of lipophilic subpeptoral reconstruction is the best in my practice. Thank you.